diaphragm breathing and stability breath. These are two different things. And we at BirthFit try to keep them very simple because there's a whole vast array of breathing exercises you can do, um, you know, working up the progression to create a stability breath. But in general, these are the two basic breaths that you need as a human. So one, diaphragm breath. In through your nose and out through your nose or mouth. And this is how we as humans are designed to breathe. So don't make it any more complicated than it has to be. Your diaphragm, which is about this level, and your pelvic floor are parallel to each other. When you breathe in through your nose, everything naturally lowers and expands. That's why we want our rib cage. We're focusing on that rib cage expanding 360 degrees. When we exhale, everything naturally returns back to neutral. That means there's no sucking your belly button to your spine. There's no kegeling your pelvic floor up or pulling your pelvic floor up. This is just a regular human breath. And if we had to think about that stuff every time we breathe, I don't think we would have made it as humans. So I want you to just pause this, take a few breaths, inhale, everything lowers and expands. Exhale, everything naturally returns back to neutral. There's no force. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, now the stability breath. This is the bracing. This is creating task specific intra abdominal pressure. Our bodies are designed to manage this internal pressure system. If we cannot manage our own internal pressure system, then we for sure will have injury. We for sure will have pelvic floor dysfunction, core dysfunction, shoulder dysfunction, hip dysfunction, somewhere down the chain, there will be an injury. So here's the difference. As we inhale, the inhale is the same. Everything lowers and expands. On the exhale for the stability breath, we want to maintain this expansion. So our pelvic floor and all the muscles in and around our like core section meets the resistance. And if you think about it, the pelvic floor, the core, those muscles are mostly eccentrically contracted. They're in their elongated phase. They're on the, you know, the lowering down of the deadlift. And so we've got to be strong and have control in that phase. So as we inhale, everything lowers and expands. And as we exhale on the stability breath, we meet the resistance. We meet the internal pressure system resistance. So you're going to put your hands here. You're going to inhale and you're going to try to maintain that expansion as you exhale. I would not go up to a deadlift bar, like a super heavy bar and suck my belly button to my spine. I would take a breath, brace, and then lift. I would exhale after I get through the stickiness of it. So whenever breath gets complicated, let it go. And remember there's two breaths, diaphragm breathing, stability breath. For stability breath, you've got to have all the muscles playing the game and you've got to have task specific intra-abdominal pressure. And just go back to what feels good, what feels natural, kind of what's common sense. You know, you're not going to brace for a punch by sucking your pelvic floor up and in. So we try to keep it simple. These two breaths, regular human breathing, and then creating stability. From here, there's a whole progression of breath work you can do to um, basically enhance energy, enhance control, or play with stabilization. Like the world is your oyster from here. So good luck. Try those out. Let us know if you have any questions.